Welcome to TopSpeed.com, my name is Christy and here are today's news. Good news for the Fiat 500 fans and Fiat. Due to the demanding consumers, Fiat has decided to increase the amount of production cars made. They increased production of the 500 up to 190,000 units per year. Fiat plans to also unveil a convertible version of the 500 in 2010, and a station wagon model will soon follow. For news on upcoming unveilings, get excited about this one. Saline is planning to unveil at the New York International Auto Show their S5S Raptor concept. This new concept is powered by a 5.0 liter V8 that burns E85 ethanol. More details on the S5S Raptor after the New York Auto Show. An unveiling we did not get warned about? At the Chicago Auto Show, we got a big surprise from car manufacturer Navistar. And when I say big, I do really mean big. They unveiled their new Lone Star truck, and it was a hit at the show. What made this truck so popular was its interior. It was full of luxuries that you can only find in top-of-the-line cars and RVs. This thing is loaded with everything. It is the best of both worlds, the strength and outer appearance of a big-time truck and the interior of a luxurious RV. The new Navstar Lone Star will hit the market soon. We have the first official images of the new Mazda 2 3-door hatchback. It comes with the same powertrain lineup as the 5-door hatchback. These engines achieve high fuel efficiency together with particularly low CO2 emissions. Mazda says that they will unveil their new Mazda 2 at next week's Geneva Auto Show. Also appearing at next week's Geneva Auto Show is two versions of the Glumford Apoyo Supercar. The Apoyo is powered by a V8 engine that delivers 641 horsepower. It can reach a top speed of 224 miles per hour. I'm excited to see this supercar at the show. A Challenger SRT8 for 228,143. Yeah, you heard me right. Dodge sold their 43rd Challenger SRT8 on eBay. The winning bidder had to pay 228,143. Dodge also managed to auction the first and second car, in total making over 800,000 for the three SRT8 Challengers. The good news is that all the money that they raised went to three charities. That's nice. But why would you pay over $200,000 for a car you can buy for $38,000? A future FTHS inspired Toyota Supra. The FTHS stands for Future Toyota Hybrid Sports. It is a futuristic sports car concept with a sleek aerodynamic profile and a potent petrol electric hybrid engine. It is front engine's rear drive layout provides revolutionary hybrid acceleration and optimal performance. Australians can view the FTHS concept at the Toyota stand in the Melbourne International Auto Show. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Tune in next time for more news. Bye!